in the bottom panel here you have the film strip and this is something that you have in several tabs here so the advantage to this is that this is persistent and it's basically a different view of the library so you don't have this big area with the grid you just have a list it's called the film strip of all your images and you can go to them from here you can still filter you see here on the right you have the flags whether they're edited whether they have ratings uh, you see the name of the file uh, and you can choose what exactly you want to see so what you have here in the left hand panel um, but normally when you're in the library view you're gonna do most of your work in this big view here but this also stays there when you switch to the develop area so uh, here it becomes much more useful so I'm gonna go back to the library and uh, so we've looked at everything except for the panel here on the right this is where you can sort uh, and well not sort but just add metadata to your images so what is metadata metadata is information about the images again very useful when you're creating an archive when you're uh, thinking ahead and giving yourself your future self the option to have a much more efficient workflow so you can have I don't know, various kinds of facets of um, information about a photo that you can search for again like I said you can have simply location or uh, landscapes or portraits or whatever but you can even group things like vacation shots and just have have them all have the same kind of keyword so you can select let's say I'm gonna select here uh, multiple images and I can add keywords to these so if I open keywording here I can just put in mountain for example for example vacation uh, groups any kind of information I think will be relevant in the future so I can find these images um, and y you will see um, keywords that you've already used here so you can just click on them to add them uh, and I don't want to so I will um, delete this one. Oh, it is deleted for good so I'll just uncheck it so it's no longer applied to this but yeah these are keywords that you add and then you can search for them and group images according to these and stuff like that uh, you have presets for example outdoor portrait photography wedding photography so you can choose from these but you can definitely and I yes should make your own because then they're easier to find so from qu keywording here you add keywords uh, keyword list is just a list of all the keywords that you've already used and you can just choose photos and check them here so you don't have to input them manually uh, under metadata you have the information that's automatically uh, stored with your camera so within your camera so for example uh, you have you can you can also add information like titles and captions copyright information whether it's copyrighted or it's public domain who took the photo uh, you can continue adding attributes from here ratings and labels uh, again just other bits and pieces of information to help you look for this 
but you also have the information that comes straight from the camera like when the image it was taken uh, what size it has uh, what kind of settings you had on the camera so you see here I have the exposure and aperture I have the focal length I have the ISO value I have whether the flash fired or not I have the the camera the lens and potentially GPS data um, again all of this you can you can search for you can't change these well not from here at least um, but yeah, you can at least see them from here and this can be very, very useful. Um, and if you work commercially, it's very important to have this information inside your files. Uh, it makes them more easy to find online as well and it makes them traceable back to you. Now this information, so other people can also edit this, uh, but it's another, let's say, another guard against uh, copyright issues so if you took a photo and someone uses it but they're not really expert of, at what they're doing you can say okay check the metadata and see that it's my photo you can just add comments to a photo so you can uh, write I'm not sure why it's not working on these images let me see if it works on raw files. But you can add whatever you want. Hmm. I'm not, not sure why, why they're not available right now. But you can add whatever information you want to images and it should be fine. And then you also have a few extra bits of information here at the top. So you can see the histogram just so you get an idea of what's going on in the image that is currently selected. Uh, and in some other met metadata, so again the information about how the photo was taken, you see what kind of previews you have. Uh, again, if you're interested in that, check it out more in detail. And you have the option of quickly changing some settings, which is again useful, especially if you have several images that you're going to work with at the same time. So for example here, because I have these images that are taking, taken in the same location, I can just choose all of them. I click on the first one and shift click on the last one and I can add the same kind of white balance, auto automated white balance to all of them because they all have the same kind of uh, situation. Or So there's just a bit of editing that you can do here uh not not a lot but you shouldn't need to do very much in the library panel so you can add presets or apply presets rather you can change the white balance you can do auto tone control or just change a few settings here but it's not the most friendly way to do it and you can do this on several images at the same time. That's the advantage. And also, if you have applied metadata to one image, you can then select several of them and sync the metadata. So copy the information from one to all of them. Again, here it makes sense because it's basically the same versions of the same photo. Or sync the settings, which is this which which are these quick develop settings here at the top and it applies what you did to one image to all of the other images um, yeah this is basically the library module here uh, we haven't looked at exporting yet but we'll look at that after we do a bit of editing which will be actually very quick because we've already gone through basically everything that Lightroom has to offer editing-wise when we talked about Camera Raw.